Hello, my name is Michael. I'm a 55-year-old musician living in New York City with decreasing debt, increasing wealth, and an eye toward financial freedom. This is Midlife Money Moves, where I'm documenting the process of turning my finances around in time for retirement. Hello. Uh, the week before last was great, wasn't it? I did so many videos. I was really on a roll. And then last week, not as much. Um, I had sort of a internal <laughs> week last week. Um, I don't even remember what happened. A lot of like the political things that are going on right now don't feel great for a member of the LGBTQIA plus community such as myself. Uh, so I kind of went down the rabbit hole of, <laughs> is it time to flee the country? Basically, <laughs> I'm not fleeing the country. I am feeling better about all of that and trying to find a balance between staying on top of politics, which I feel like it's been a, you know, kind of challenging for me. Um, and staying on top of it while also knowing when to step away and go back to the real world. Well, it's all the real world, isn't it? So anyway, you know, that stuff just lands a little differently for people in my community or people in other communities that are, I can never think of the word, marginalized. Um, but that's not what this channel is about. Just... It hits, it hits different, as they say. Uh, anyway, today's video is um, going to be a spending report for the last two weeks, previous two weeks, last week and the week before. Yeah, so it's the spending that was happening <laughs> during the week I was making so many good videos. Um, before we look at this spreadsheet, I'm also overspending. And I just kind of want to talk about that a little bit because uh, I kind of feel my an old pattern happening. And one of those things is getting the efforts um, when it feels like my world or the world in general is going to be screwed up anyway. And also, I have a lot of time right now, which two things are happening. I have a lot of time right now, and I'm feeling kind of better than I felt in a, in a while about like connecting. I have space and energy to go see people. Often that costs money. It doesn't have to, but it has in my case. So I've been spending more and um, and then I get in this spot. Like I've kind of just, it's almost like in AA they talk about like, oh, like when, if someone relapses, it's, it's a big deal, of course. But it's also like you were getting more information. Now you remember what it was like when you had lived that life. And I'm having that kind of moment. Like this morning when I was putting this, spreadsheet together, which we'll look at together in a moment, um, it was really like, oh yeah, you did not do the thing that you wanted to do. Um, and that's kind of what addiction is. I don't know if I'm, this is the same as being an alcoholic, um, but it is that sort of like, <sighs> yeah, oh, this is actually a really good topic. It's that kind of... Um, loss of self-esteem and loss of motivation that comes with having a goal and then doing behaviors that don't match the goal. So like I, I can kind of notice a sort of downward, well, let's call it an upward trend of my spending, spending more and more money, the further away from a good I don't want to say good. The further away from a aligned decision, I move. Okay, so this is getting real this kind of way. So what I mean is I make the choice and the decision, as we all know, because I've been making these videos for a long time, that I want to get out of debt. I want to save money. I want to have an emergency fund. I want to not be as, I want to have like a nest egg for when it's when I retire or can't work anymore. Um, and that's what my focus has been on. When I start making decisions that aren't aligned with that, <laughs> the decisions start happening with more frequency. So this is not an excuse. This is an observation and sort of a note to self, like, oh, interesting pattern. And then I feel like, you know, by the end of this weekend, I was doing spending without even really thinking about it. Like, I was like, well, there's probably money and I could pull money and this and that, um, which isn't how I want to do my money. So the, uh, it, it's kind of a vicious cycle, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Because then 
you like the more the further I get from having sort of a handle on things, the easier it is to just be like, well, I mean, it's all messed up already. Might as well go get a coffee, you know. Um, so this is just placeholder. This is just like noticing and observing and processing this place of my spending, this thing that comes up. So with all that said, let's look at my spending. It's not the end of the world. I mean, obviously, but um, it's a lot of, I've overspent and I knew I was overspending last week. All right. So let's talk about this. My uh, income, this is still an estimate. My income goes way down in the summer. I think that's another thing too. Um, part of my old kind of way of thinking about money was like, well, it's a mess. Everything's a mess. So I just have to scrounge perpetually, which is not the case. Like, even though this is a very low income for New York City, I have made some preparations that makes it okay. Um, but there's that sense I get in a space of like um, lack. And for some reason, I spend more money when that happens, which is not, does not make sense. All right, so uh, my business income is estimated at $2,700. It's actually gonna be over that, it looks like. Um, I got a almost $300 student loan refund. I think I talked about that already. My student loans of around $3,500, I guess, got um, forgiven. Thanks, Joe Biden. <laughs> not getting into politics, but I'll get into that. Um, and then uh, this future card, I got a $20 rebate for my, I think I actually got more than that back. I should look at that. I'll adjust it for my electric bill. Come on, future card. Um, link in the description if you want to get that. And then we both get like $30 or $40 something. It's a debit card that rewards you for making environmentally friendly purchases. All right, so let's look at the spending. We're going to talk about the spending from week two and week three together. Um, all right, so a lot of this stuff, renter's insurance happens every month, 1975. My phone bill, 112.57. Just side note, this is also um, cellular for my uh, iPad, which I use for teaching, and I'm a travel piano teacher. So I decided to do that so I wasn't having to sign on to everybody's Wi-Fi everywhere I went. I use a lot of different apps and um, websites during my teaching, so it's really fun to have that. So my electric bill is going up. It's the summer, and I hate it. <laughs> so my air conditioners run a lot. Um, but with the future bill, as I mentioned, because I've signed up for this um, solar farm at Arcadia, which also is great, um, I get 10% cash back on the future card, which is a debit card, not a credit card. Um, so I got $20.40 $20 back from this, which is great. Love it. My, my, I'd rather have a lower electric bill, sure. But this is going to be great. I think it's going to be even higher next month. We'll see. Uh, I spent only $20.30 on the subway last week and then seventeen forty this week. Uh Last week, how am I going to say this? You know what I'm talking about. Week two, week three. Let's stick with that. Um, I'm doing much less riding on the subway because I'm not teaching as much right now. <clears throat> uh, this last payment for New York State went out well. There's still $9 left. I have to get into that. I haven't mentioned it yet in this episode, but I am filing bankruptcy in September. So a lot of these things that aren't going to be... Um, uh, discharged in the bankruptcy, like this New York State tax I owe for 2023. I haven't started a payment plan on that yet, and I need to figure that out sooner rather than later. Uh, I spent $50.56 on Mount Sinai. This was just a, a payment plan I was on with them forever. They just sent me a new bill for a lot of stuff. I wish they would bill me more in a timely way because now it's a whole big chunk of money again. Uh, clothing. I bought a new belt last week. During week two, I bought a new belt. My belt was literally falling apart and hanging on by a few threads. Groceries, 156.30 on week two, 144.91. I'm still well under budget, which is great. Um, unfortunately, some of that money wound up being spent on getting takeout food and hanging out with my boyfriend. So we'll talk about that in a second. 
Uh, personal spending, this is just a category for things I don't really care to talk about on the internet. $34.75. Um, I bought some new treats for my cat, Tigger, eleven ninety five. Uh, I allocate $80 for that because he's on um, prescription food, which I do need to get more of in the next week or so. So there'll be another cat expense. Oh, so here we go. Last week wasn't too bad. I mean, uh, I work with uh, Layla at um, Personal Finance with Layla, also known as Debt Over It. Um, and in our meeting, we highlighted these as a reminder like, oh, you're overspending. <laughs> like I went over both of these budgets in the first day, the first week of the month. Uh, I did better with the takeout, although I feel like this might not be right. <laughs> but I did. I filled it in last week. So we'll see. Um, I'll double check all this stuff. Um, and then I spent $31.72 with my boyfriend. And then here we are with last week. $107.98 I spent on like dates and stuff. It's very exciting right now because I can do things during the week. We can go out and do stuff. It was easier to spend money during the school year because I my schedule is so packed because I'm trying to bring in as much income as possible that it's really easy not to spend money because I'm too tired to go out by the end of the day, and I teach late till like 8.30, 9 o'clock. <sighs> so, um, I mean, that's this. This is the case of the efforts and also having time to go do things. Um, but now I'm $162.41 over budget with this. <laughs> that's a lot. Um, no shame, just awareness. And then for eating out, just I had coffee with a friend. I ordered takeout one night. You know, not shaming, just noticing and observing. This is going, just trending in the direction that isn't aligned with my goals. Got it. Uh, gifts. I bought a card for my friend. I was going to her birthday party. Um, and then was this last week? Oh, yeah, this one ninety nine thirty. I put into my emergency fund. It's the bulk of this refund that I got for the student loan. So ooh, I already started, like this is the cycle and I really need to not let the cycle happen. Um, my checking account because of all this overspending is dwindling and I'm starting those little hints of like, well, you could just take money out of your emergency fund. And I really do not want to do that. I'm saying that out loud right now. It may happen that I have to because some of this overspending happened and my, um, my income is low. Um, but I don't want to do that. So let's see how we do. It's a very delicate balance, <laughs> this budgeting and saving money thing. Because part of me wants to say, well, I don't need to buy groceries this week. But as we noticed this week, <laughs> in week one, I didn't buy a lot of groceries which led to me getting takeout <laughs> twice that week. And that's what this $81.51 is. Takeout is incredibly expensive. Like if I'd spent this money on some groceries, this is, I'm trying to just be analytical and not judgmental. <laughs> because I think judging myself about this stuff, it sounds so airy-fairy, but it is counterproductive. It just makes me feel bad. And then I just do it more. Like... <laughs> So I'm just like, oh, interesting observation here. You didn't go grocery shopping, which is great. You were, you were well under budget, but it wasn't that great because at the end of the day, when you got home, you were hungry and didn't have anything to cook. So you ordered takeout. Aha. So I just say that because I had this moment this morning. I'm like, oh, I got plenty of groceries. I won't buy groceries this week to make up for this. But... This puts me in a position at the end of the day when my ADHD meds have worn off and I'm impulsive to begin with and I'm tired that I'll be like, oh, I'll just get takeout and I'll figure it out later, which leads to being in the position I'm in. Like, <laughs> so anyway, that's just, you know, that cycle. So I need to sort of plan. Maybe I spend less on groceries to buy a few things to make sure I have easy stuff to make this week um, so I won't fall into the takeout trap. It's okay. Everything's fine. That is my personal budget, uh, personal spending for the last two weeks. I also have this uh, business budget. Okay, so 
this is just what's going on here. I'm expecting $3,750 um, from, uh -oh. come on, come back. I just want to go just a little, whatever, that's close enough. Um, and so far it's been $2,012.65. I did have a birthday party in here. Um, I do kids' birthday parties sometimes, and that's 300 bucks. Birthday party. Just so I remember that was in there too. Uh, Patreon, 2000, 2000 I wish, $295.33. Um, so my total income so far has been $2,307.98. Um, and we'll see where it lands by the end of the month. All right, so owner's compensation. Again, this is, oh, I think I forgot to put this in here. Uh, did I? I must have paid myself some money last week. I'll figure it out. This might be everything from... Anyway, uh, $983.59. I think part of this came in through week three. Uh, stay tuned for an adjustment there. Apple subscriptions. This is various Apple Care, uh, cloud, that kind of stuff. $14.38. Insurance. I think this was my vision insurance, $24.48. Uh, software and clouds, all kind of various stuff. I just kind of grouped it here. I use YNAB, you need a budget, and all that stuff's itemized there. Uh, subscriptions, $8.08. .08. .08. This was um, New York Times and The New Yorker. Office supplies. I wound up like just during my The World is Ending, the United States is becoming a um, hellscape <laughs> moments last week. I decided I needed to have my school transcripts. <laughs> so that's what this money is. I went, I tracked down my transcripts from uh, my college. So $32.94 paid for that. Uh, $19. Um, it's some music I got for a student. This is my sheet music and books category. But I get these things and I pay for the teacher version um, that allows me to share it with multiple students. Uh, just so I have it in my library. Uh, movies and music, $9. General equipment. This was... Guitar pegs, because, uh, you know, the little pegs that hold the strings in there. $6.52. Financial coaching, $50 with Layla. I actually need to do that again this week. Why don't I go ahead and put it right there? And that's it. That's all my spending for business. That's not bad. $77.25. Um, some of my, some of this went out that way. Oh, and one. 144.45. My business expenses, even during the school year when I'm spending more, are not that high. And I can get them down lower. I was thinking about some of these vague <laughs> subscriptions, software and cloud. There's stuff in there I can get rid of. I should. All right. Anyway, that's where we're at for the last two weeks. I'm not making any promises about videos this week. Um, it would be nice to do some. Um, I'm going to do my best. I'm trying to just go easy on myself. I have a lot of time off right now. I'm feeling great today. Um, I think just, you know, whatever. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. And I will see you all whenever the next time is I do a video. Thanks for watching. Bye.